Today's video is sponsored by Boxu. Check my link down below for $15 off your first Boxu order. Hey Greens and welcome to more mystery box of fidget toys. Ah yes, today we have fidget toy mystery box of Halloween fidget toys. What does that mean? I don't know. It's a mystery box. <laughs> And this was sent to me by none other than the viral TikToker, Mrs. Bench. Mrs. Bench said, I am going to send you some Halloween edition fidget toys. And I'm like, mm, I love that idea very much. And so here we have it, the cutest, most holographic packaging from Mrs. Bench. I will leave all of her links and information down below. Not sponsored, not affiliated. We've just become friends and now she just sends me cool stuff. Since spooky season is right around the corner, if you like cozy and spooky games, why not join me on my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gaming. We do live streams there at least twice a week. Oh, and if you do like the spirit of spooky season, let me know in the comments section below. Have you ever dressed up for Halloween? And if not, that's okay. And if so, what was your favorite costume? I think my favorite costume was probably when I was... 11 and I dressed up as a punk. I don't know what that meant, but apparently my mom put me in 80s clothes and floofed up my hair and that was punk. <laughs> and for those of you new here, don't forget to subscribe and while you're there, click on all notifications which will make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. Now I have no idea how many are in here, but gosh darn darn it, we're gonna do all of them. So get a snack, get hydrated, cause we gonna do the whole thing. All right, we're gonna start from up here. Oh gosh, please don't let me cut anything. I can't feel it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my finger in there and feel my way through. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. Okay, okay. I think we got this. Oh gosh, I don't want to cut. <gasps> Did I cut something? <gasps> oh no. No, no, no. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. There. Oh, so colorful. I see the note. Okay. <clears throat> oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff. Let me count. Okay, okay, looks like we have 11 items in here. We also get the little card, but since it is a mystery pack, I'm going to set the box, well, the bag over here. Get you grains to look over there. Stop looking. Stop it. Stop looking over there, okay? I'm, I'm not even looking. Stop it. <laughs> All right, so first thing we're pulling out, why is this so long? Why is today's video just out of context, Jackie? And this is, oh, Stretchlers. <gasps> We've seen these. Now, hang on, let's let's appreciate the packaging because I'm really excited. I love these so much. So here it says silicon fidget toys and we have these little pup scented. Oh my God, I'm gonna sniff it so hard. And as you can see, they kind of look like the candy called Twizzlers here in North America. Let me know if you have something like that in your country and what it's called. And this is what the back looks like. This is really cute Halloween packaging. It says Halloween edition. All right. And oh my god, look at these! Perfect spooky season colors! Is there one that glows in the dark? No. No. And these things are so soft. Look at that. They're basically textured monkey noodles. If you've ever wanted a fidget... A fidget toy that is silent, absolutely silent. Listen. Quiet. It is quiet. Perfect for the office, classroom, wherever you want to bring it. And you can also put it in your pocket. <gasps> oh, that smells sweet. Kind of like a vanilla cake. Oh my god, this is dangerous. <laughs> Actually, there's no flavor to them. Usually these things taste sour or gross or acidic in some way, but there's actually neutral in flavor. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do what I do. Don't be a Jackie. But as you can see, they do look like candies. They're really fun. They, I really like to knot them. They're extremely soft and it feels good. And once you have them in a knot, they basically look like this, but they're so easy to remove. They're so, it, it, it really does release stress and anxiety for me. So these are some of my favorites ever. It kind of looks like black licorice. This one kind of has, I'm guessing an orange flavor, even though it doesn't, but that's my guess if I had to guess. Purple would be grape. I love grape flavor. And then grape green because I love apple, so apple flavor. And hey, you can always knot them together as well if you get the entire set. Kind of just make them longer. I don't know if it works. No, it does not. But look at that sound. There's so many ways to fidget with this. And of course, yeah, it is it is pretty stretchy. So it's, it's bigger than the camera. Yeah, bigger than the camera can see. 
These for me, an absolute 10 on 10 because I love these. Oh, by the way, I do rate these and sometimes the ratings are high, sometimes the ratings are low. These are just my opinion. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate that Mrs. Bench sent these to me. So these are gonna go into my other stuff that I use all the time. Next, oh, what is that? That is pretty, that is, hang on, it's a big packaging. <gasps> no, oh my God, baby. I mean. <clears throat> Very cute pumpkin indeed. And here we have a Poppet, one of the most satisfying ever. We're gonna try this. Halloween edition by OMG Pop Rockers. And it does say Halloween edition. Stick em, pop em, and rock em. Oh, it has suction cups. Oh, we gonna play with that. And in the back, no way. So these are the ones that we should be able, oh my gosh, the packaging, hang on. There. These are the ones we should be able to get. So we have Fang, which is a kitty cat vampire. We have Jinx, just a black cat. Cassie the ghost. It's a little too close to Casper the ghost, but okay. Does anyone even remember Casper? Long forgotten, I guess. We have Trixie the witch kitty cat. Jack the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin thing. And then we have Frankenbear. Very cute. I would say this set is actually pretty adorable. And here it is. So the idea of this poppet is super... Hang on, what's this? What's that on your face? Oh, okay, just a little floof. So the idea is that you should be able to push in as many poppets as you can. It is pretty quiet. Oh, actually not. No, it has a nice pushback. There we go, let's make it all sure, all of them there. Okay, you ready? I was so excited, I don't even know what I said just now. Oh, did I say, oh, damn, damn, there. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> let's make it all sure, all of them there. And let's hear it. Oh, yes. Let's do the back part. Okay, we can't do too many, but here we go. Very nice. And we have suctions at the bottom. Let's go ahead and push that down. I love these things that have multiple functions. All right, let's do this. Oh, yes. This is so perfectly obnoxious. <gasps> Mrs. Bench, you getting to know me too well now. I think you know my favorites at this time and you're like, I'ma just send you Halloween version. And I'm like, thank you, I love you. So here we go with the cutest ever. Oh my God, and it's solid, it's good quality. I'm gonna give this a nine. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because we can't do the entire back part. I'm gonna try off camera, okay? If I'm able to get the entire back part without one popping out, then we'll give it a 10. So give me a few seconds. A few minutes later. And the answer is no. So it'll stay a 9 on 10. And then... No you didn't, Mrs. Bench! No you didn't! Did you just give me Frank and Kitty? <gasps> okay, let's, let's just look at Frank and Kitty because I love the details. Okay, what makes Frank and Kitty special to me is that there are so many details on the face. First of all, we do have Frankenstein's monster's hair over here. We have the little scar. We have these cute little rosy cheeks and also the little rod things that are in Frankenstein's monster. Here's a picture of Frankenstein's monster. I think the name was Adam. Was the name not Adam? Editor, can you double check what is Frankenstein's monster's name? Thank you for informing everybody. And I love this green. The colors are absolutely fluorescent. I love these. I am now in love. So cute. So cute, oh my God. Okay, let's just do a quick pop it test and see if there's any difference in how many we can actually push in. Feels good. And yes. All right, let me try the back. Interesting. This is already more than the pumpkin. Okay. We did the entire thing. What the shrimp? We were able to do the entire thing. This one's a 10 out of 10. You ready? Okay, listen. It sounds like popcorn. This is phenomenal. 10 on 10 for me. Let's hear your suction cups, Frank and Kitty. Wonderful. Yeah, 10 on 10 for me for Frank and Kitty. Okay, this one here feels mushy. You are. Oh, no, that is cute. I might keep some of these for Halloween giving out. I don't know if that was a sentence, but let's take our felt. Here's our trusty little felt. And we have little mochis. That is adorable. That is cute. No way. They're in candy bags. Okay, here we go. So here, I'm gonna unpack a couple of them. These are little mochis. Look at that. Mochi figures. 
So we have a kitty cat. This here's a black cat. Oh, I think this one's a mouse or a rat. <gasps> no, that is cute. We have a little ghost. Actually, it seems like we have different types of ghosts in here. And then here we have different kinds of skull characters. And then we have these two colorful ones. Oh, we have a little green pumpkin and an orange spider. My biggest worry though with these is that it's not labeled as not food. But wait, wait, are they edible? Packaging doesn't say anything. And then on these ones here, it also doesn't say that this is a toy. So my only worry is if you're giving this out, people who receive it might think it's a gummy, chew into it, and then find out that it is in fact not. I will demonstrate and take a bite just in case they actually are chum chummy. I was gonna say chewy and gummy, but it's chummy. Unless it's very chummy. We are best friends now. All right, let's start with one of the ghosts. I really did fall in love with this one. Even the paper. It's so crinkly. It feels nice. All right, let's open you. Oh my God, look at this. This mochi is wonderful. It doesn't have like this weird powdery texture. Yeah, it's definitely a mochi. It is not edible. It feels so good. Nice and soft. Okay, I'm gonna take a little chew just, just to prove it, okay? Yeah, not a toy. I mean, not a food. <laughs> Don't eat this! This is really cute. Maybe you can make a little note if you want to give these out to put a little sticker and write toy. That way people know. But I love this. Absolutely wonderful. I never thought of this as an idea to give out for Halloween, but now I want to. And actually I will. So I'm gonna keep these unopened. And that what what is this cloth? Hang on. We have we have a cloth. What is that? Okay, I have no idea. Mrs. Bench, what's in here? What is this surprise? Let us open and find out. I want to go trick-or-treating so badly. I miss it. Honestly, if I had adults trick-or-treating come up to my door and say trick-or-treat, I don't understand why it's limited to only little ones. I think anyone should enjoy it. Because even when I was, what, 11, I would go to people's door and they're like, aren't you too old for trick-or-treating? I'm like, no, I trick-or-treated. And I kid you, grains not. Until I was 22 years old, okay? I still trick-or-treated. I think anyone should. Okay, what's it? What is that? What is this? Oh, it's its own. What? Wait, we get a mystery box inside a mystery box? Okay, I like that. Do I open it now? We'll, we'll wait. We'll open this at the end. And then we have, oh, a poppet. Oh, I think this one is themed to the day, the day of the dead. Day of the dead, I believe. Los dias del muertes. Let me double check. Let me... Let me educate myself. Dias de los muertos. I messed up. Yeah, I think so. With the pretty designed skulls. As we can see over here and here. So this is a really nice poppet that you can have as a decoration. It looks a little bit more elegant and fancy. So if you don't want something fluorescent and flashy, you definitely have something a little bit more mature. <laughs> Let's hear what it sounds like though. Oh, it has a really different texture. Oh, why does it feel crunchy? That is really different. Okay, let's try it on the desk. It has like this crunchiness to it that I've never felt before. Okay, let's try. I hope you can hear it. A little crunchy. So let's turn it around and do the popping. Okay, it feels normal. And what if it's in our hand? It has a really different sound. And there's something about that straight become a racetrack is still going there's a motorcycle going crazy in October it's cold out there Th that was really noisy that was really loud <laughs> what I was saying is this one comes with a little bit of a crunch and I kind of like this it's very different sounding normally I give poppets a 7 on 10 wait did I grade everything else I think I did Normally I give Pop It's a 7 on 10, but there's a satisfactory crunch to it. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but I'm going to give this 7.8. I mean, not to mention how absolutely beautiful the details are. Next baggie is... Oh, what are these faces? We have Bubble Blobby's Squish Toy, again with the Halloween, and they glow in the dark. We're gonna put them in the dark so you can see the difference during day and night. But these are adorable. I love this face. It's like... 
I love underbites. I think underbites are the best thing ever. It says squish, stretch, and toss. So I'm guessing these are basically going to be the sticky balls that you can throw onto the ceiling and then they come back. It is a fun fidget way when you're laying in bed, but we're gonna find out how actually sticky they are. I love the Halloween packaging. Mrs. Bench, I didn't know they made Halloween packaging this cute for fidget toys. Is this open this way? Yes, it is. Okay, and first touch. Oh, they are sticky. Okay, these are sticky. There we go. Look at, you can see the stretch on these. So if you don't like sticky texture, this won't be for you. So here it is. Let's squish. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> oh, the sound. Wait, does it smell good? No. Well, well, let's just say don't sniff it because it's the kind of smell you shouldn't enjoy, but you do enjoy. And you know exactly what kind of smell I'm thinking of. You know you're not supposed to like it nor sniff it, but you do like that smell. And no, I'm not talking about toots. Not toots. No, nope. you're not supposed to like toots. <laughs> but okay, let's try each one and... Very nice. This one. Wow, this one's extra. This cute little baby. Okay, no, it depended on the angle. Very cute, and then we have Frankenstein's monster again. I really like these. These are really cute. And let's see, will they stick here? I love doing this. It's like, oh no, I'm melting, oh no. And they just get back up. So let me try it on the ceiling. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, it's definitely up. And it fell. <laughs> oh no, now it's dirty, my floor is so dirty. That's cat hair. I have cat hair, and I end up throwing out the little, little cute one. All right, oh, okay, it came back. Yes, they do stick to the ceiling, so these are absolutely fun. Just make sure you don't throw the ghost one in a room that's full of craft. These are fun. Craft glitter and mess. Oh, these are so fun sticky together. They look like mochi. Looks like a dessert. These are fun. I could do this forever. And they don't have this weird residue of stickiness on your hands. Really, the stickiness is fully only on these actual toys. All right, so I put them under a UV light for about one minute. It's basically the equivalent of leaving them in sunlight for also a good few minutes. And let's turn the lights off to see. Remember, this is green, orange, and white. Let's see what you look like. Okay, that is not as glow in the dark on the camera. However, in real life, they are glowing a lot more. So let me show you what they look like in real life. There we go. Exposure is set to higher. And this is actually truer to their actual glow. So this one is glowing the most, the little, the little ghost. Frankenstein's monster and the pumpkin come in second place. This one definitely glows more, probably because it is white as a base. So there you go. Let's see them individually. Little ghost, Frankenstein's monster, and the jack o' lantern so I'm going to give this a solid eight we still have a few baggies in here and this one is oh a simple dimple ghost and these ones are cute hang on let's get our felt there we go and these ones are cute because they do come with a little clasp that you can put on your bag your backpack anywhere and it is to go and let's hear that oh that is a good push nice and the face is absolutely adorable. I wonder if the face is different on the other side. We don't have a different face. Now, as I said, poppets, simple dimples, usually get a grade of seven because they're basic, but I really wish they had more going on with this ghost, at least some kind of outline. Maybe the face here could have had different colors, but some people may appreciate the fact that it doesn't stand out and you can fidget with it pretty easily. So for me, it's going to stay at around a 6.8. I just wish there had been a little bit more going on. And then, oh, okay, hang on. I feel canisters. What are you thinking, putty? We've seen this brand before. So this is mini glowing thinking putty. And then here we have pumpkin hatch. Does it smell like pumpkin patch? This is goodie bag. Okay, let's find out. So let's check out the pumpkin patch because it's not supposed to be slime. It's supposed to, oh, hello. Wait, is there an imprint in here? No. Is it covered? It is. Okay. Okay. So it's not supposed to be a slime. It's supposed to be a putty, which is a much firmer version of a slime without the gooiness. Now, is this okay? There we go. And here it is. 
Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be this little. I know that this brand, the Crazy Errands, are pretty expensive, but I don't know if it's supposed to be this little. Is it pretty? Absolutely. Is it my cup of tea? Not quite. I do love the glitter though. I really do. There's no crunch, no texture. Just, oh, there we go. We have a little bit of a pop. So I think you could do like a little bubble and then pop it. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I'm not crazy about this one. Is my nose playing tricks on me? Yeah, I think my nose is playing tricks on me. No, it is not scented as far as I can tell. For me, I'm not too crazy about this. I'm gonna give it maybe a five on 10 because I know that many of you grains like to fidget with quiet items and it does come in a canister that you can put in your backpack or in your pocket or your bag or leave it on your desk. So it is convenient. Now let's check out the other one called the Goody Bag. This one's glow in the dark. So we're also gonna see what it looks like in the dark. Oh no, please open. Oh, I can't open it. Oh no, I think I need help. Bat! Bat! Here he comes. Yes. I can't open this. Okay. Could you open it for me, please? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Why are your hands wet? I'm cooking. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to open if your hands are wet, though. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's try that again. It's tough, right? It, it is. It is. It's not me, right? It's for sure you. <laughs> What? Yes. You, did you just whisper it? <laughs> Say it with your with your whole chest. It's you. Wow. Wow. Did you grain see that? I'm still having a hard time. Yeah, I'll be back. We'll be back. A few minutes later. Pat has cometh through. It did take him quite a bit to open it. So, oh gosh. See, we have a little bit of an air pocket here. I think these are expired. I'm not sure. I think these, yeah, I, I'm not sure these are okay. Yeah, this is definitely, I don't think this is okay. I think these putty crazy errands brand is very finicky on how long it actually lasts. There we go. Or maybe it's supposed to look like this and I just don't know because it's very little putty and normally they are pretty pricey as a brand. So I do like the texture of the sprinkles. That much I quite like, but I just feel like there's not much. Here's, here's how much we get in the entire can. Canister. And uh, we'll put the price of these tiny cans on the screen so you have an idea of how much they actually cost. I'm gonna keep decreasing this price tag until there's something that's actually satisfying for me. So this is gonna get a 2 on 10. Now unbeknownst to me, Pat looked in the bag and he said there's another one. This one is called Witching Hour. It feels, no, it feels about the same. Oh, there we go. This one came. Oh my god, the glitter. Holy shrimp. Okay, so we have another one. This one is pretty glittery. I'm pretty worried that the glitter is just going to be all, oh my gosh, be all over my fingers. So I'm just going to put one of my fingers in here and see if the glitter comes out. So as you can see, glitter free finger and push it in. Okay, fingers still glitter free. Again, they're okay. They really do look pretty though. But again, I'm going to give these for me personally a 2 on 10. You know what? Maybe all of them. For me, I'm not a fan. Maybe if you're a fan of these, sure. But for me, not so much. I think I'm more of a fan of slime than putties. Or even maybe it's putties from this brand. And then, oh yes, I love these. Mrs. Bench, you keep sending these to me because you know I love, these are one of my favorites, most obnoxious fidget toys ever. They have their own little crunch. Listen to that and this way and then this way these are one of my favorites I love this so much but you've seen me already play with these potentially in past videos oh oh someone said to do this the sound Okay, let's try that again with the sound. There's so many ways that you can fidget with this in the most obnoxious way possible. So if you're looking for something quiet, this ain't it. Next we have, oh no, we've seen, this one did not make the voyage. This is also a pop it ball. This one here is Halloween edition, but it looks like part of it deflated. So it lost some of the air that's supposed to keep it into a ball shape. So it's, it's not doing well. I love the colors, but it ain't doing well. And if it can't handle the trip across the border, then perhaps it is not made to travel at all. Unfortunately, for broken items, zero on 10. Maybe it needs to be shipped in a box, perhaps. And now for the entire mystery bag within the mystery bag. So we'll take, oh, is that a spider? That is a skull or a spider? I think it's a spider leg. Okay. 
All right, let's move one thing after another. And here we have a spider type character. And it looks like it's one of those balls that go bloop bloop and the things come out. I don't know the actual name of this kind of fidget ball. Squishy ball, perhaps? Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is really nice. What if we block the bigger one here? We get these. <gasps> Look at all the different sides. Yeah, I love this. This is great. And you can see the glitter right here is really sparkly. There you go. Let's see when I remove my hand. Here it is. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is nice. Not entirely quiet, but definitely fun. Although I wouldn't fidget with it for too long, it is fun enough to kind of do it with your, if you're on the call or you're on hold or you're waiting for someone for a few minutes. So I'm gonna give this a 7.2. Next item, oh, I know these. Oh gosh, did it also not make the voyage? I don't think, hang on, what the? Okay, I think we need our, our felt. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So this is supposed to have a character pop right out. There we go. But it's not supposed to be this bent. I think it lost a bit of its shape, perhaps. Maybe there's an air pocket somewhere or maybe a leak. So unless it's supposed to be this slanted, this is cute. I don't think it's supposed to be this slanted, but it is adorable though. Look at it. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm not sure what this is supposed to look like if it's this way or that way. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I mean, the boo. Benefit of the doubt and give it a four on ten now if it weren't slanted and it did keep its shape I probably would have given it a base of like six and a half and then oh that is a mochi <gasps> I don't want to open this I kind of I kind of want to put it in here I'm gonna put it in here but we've seen the mochi and I love these because it feels like it's the exact same packaging we have a pumpkin poppet no, I didn't give up. I was just trying different methods. Okay, let's look at this. There's small texture on each of the little puppets of a pumpkin. So these are pumpkins inside of pumpkins. And let's get a sound. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and pop. Yeah, sounds really good. And the thing I just noticed when I pushed it in is that the texture is actually on both sides. Like that is neat. That is really neat. The fact that it added a texture element to the poppet, I'm gonna give this a 7.5. A bat simple dimple. Oh, it says happy Halloween. Why is everything so hard to open now? I got you. Oh, I got you. Oh, that is cute. It says trick or treat, happy Halloween. It did come in a cute little baggie and there is a keychain element to it where you can put it on your bag or backpack. And it's a pretty standard, simple dimple. It doesn't have a design in the back, but it also doesn't come with a little clasp. So I wish it came with a clasp. Then again, a clasp wouldn't be easy to give out for Halloween. So yeah, seven. No, wait, I lied. It came with a ribbon. Oh, I lied. It still gets a seven though, but it did come with a little a little uh, ribbon thing, charm holder. And last but not least, oh, it lights up. Oh my God. We have a crunchy of my favorite. Oh, wait, it doesn't even make that sound. That is a very different crunch. It's almost its own thing. And it seems like there's a button here to make it light up. Let's press it. Oh, wow. All right, let's see what that looks like in the dark. All right, let's see what that looks like <laughs> with the lights. Remember again, flashing light warning. Oh my God, that is intense. Holy shrimp. Oh my God. I kind of do like the colors, but you can also have a strobe or you can have a consistent light. So here there's no more flashing lights, but you can see here, at least it looks pretty cool. I like this. Look at the colors. That is really pretty. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of flashing lights for the fidget toys, but I do like it when they just purely light up. That is really cool. You can kind of use it as a bit of a flashlight. Look at that. How cool is that? So here you go. Ah, yes. 
it's corn. If anyone does corn right, it is Japan, and I'm a huge fan of anything that Japan makes that has corn, which is why I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor, Boksu. For those of you who don't know Boksu, they are monthly Japanese snack subscription box that focus on premium quality snacks. And they are by far my favorite subscription box that I look forward to every month. As a new subscriber, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan, which introduces you to the different flavors and regions. However, my box this month is centered around the theme of Otsukimi, which is the harvest moon. Let's try a couple of snacks. Grilled corn senbei, basically rice crackers. Oh my god. Smells like corn heaven. Mmm, Japan really knows how to do their corn right. Usagi no shippo cookies, which is basically a green tea bun with filling. And oh my god, it's so soft. Oh, way more delicate than I expected, and I love this. It's dense, but not dry. This will go perfect with the tea. In addition to the snacks, you will get a booklet that shows you where snacks come from, a little bit of Japanese vocabulary, and whether your snacks are vegetarian friendly and what kind of allergens they have. Another thing I absolutely love about Boxu is that they work with family businesses that are well over 100 years old to support Japanese local businesses. So you'll be getting signature treats that you can't find anywhere else. And hey, if you do fall in love with a specific snack, you can check out Boxu's boutique where you can find all sorts of snacks that you may have fallen in love with and want just a little bit more. So if you want to try some rare Japanese snacks, support Japanese local businesses, and support the channel, why not check my link down below, Nerdy Crafter, to get $15 off your first Boxu order. Again, the code Nerdy Crafter for $15 off your first Boxu order. Thank you, Boxu, for being amazingly huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video. Let me know which one of these hollow Halloween fidget toys is your favorite. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a review of other kinds of mystery boxes, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video.